Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. My name's Jay Pace. I am the principal at Providence Property Group. In this short video, we're going to be talking about the obstacles in your way to achieving financial well being. By the end, I will have shared some of the avenues available for you to explore with Providence during our one on one discovery sessions that will allow you to reach your goals. Providence provide wealth creation solutions through property, and tax is definitely one of our clients biggest challenges. Now, like him or not, at the time of his death, Kerry Packer was the wealthiest man in Australia, most notably for his status as the Australian media magnate. And he did not amass his wealth by being passive. And when addressing Australian federal parliament, he famously said, I'm not evading tax in any way, shape or form. Now, of course, I'm minimizing my tax. And if anybody in this country doesn't minimize their tax, they want to have their heads read. Before we can explore effective strategies to obtaining financial well-being, we must first understand the obstacles which stop the majority of Australians from achieving their goal. Australia is one of the highest tax paying nations in the world. Our top tax rate is funded by people earning more than 180 grand a year, and that is 45%. For 2019, we had an annual tax burden of over half a trillion dollars, around 560 billion. Now, at the end of the day, a lot of people don't know what Tax Freedom Day is. Your savvy accountant should. So I'm going to quickly go through that with you. Picture this, how would you feel if you walked into work on Monday and your boss told you, from now on, you're gonna work your full week, but we're not gonna pay you on Monday and Tuesday. We're only gonna pay you Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Just think about that. Would that feel good? Would you stay working at that company or would you try to find something that gave you a better chance of achieving your goals financially? Because that's exactly what Australians are actually doing. And let me break it down for you. Tax Freedom Day is the date of the year that represents how many days we work for the tax man before we earn for ourselves. It represents the total taxes collected by all three levels of government, council, state, federal, it includes all indirect taxes like GST, uh, and there are a lot of more hidden taxes than people will realize. There's things on alcohol, taxes on tobacco, clothing, footwear, customs, luxury car taxes, etc. And according to figures by Deloitte Access Economics, the average taxpayer ends up paying about two thirds more than they pay through their income tax alone. Now, according to the Center for Independent Studies, the results over the last 50 years show that Australians are paying off their tax debt later in the year. And you can see in 2018, you had to work until the 9th of May to pay all your taxes. And in 2019, it was the 13th of May. And you'll notice that it pushed back by an extra four days. So how do Australians compare with the rest of the world? Well, in the United States, it's the 24th of April. In the UK, it's the 8th of May, about the same as us. France, the 29th of July, Belgium, 6th of August, most other European Union countries, uh, it's early June on average. Uh, tax Freedom Day is important because like most people know, tax is their biggest expense and the wealthy reduce tax and convert tax into wealth accumulation. And we're going to share with you some of these strategies. Now that you know what Tax Freedom Day is, what is Mortgage Freedom Day? Similar to Tax Freedom Day, it's the date of the year that represents when you've earned enough money to have met your obligation to your lender for that calendar year. And the reality is that if you're paying a mortgage, you spend most of the year working to pay your taxes and the bank. How much of the year? Well, let's find out. So Australian Bureau of Statistics data has uh, reported that 25.1% of household income was used to pay mortgage repayments in 2017 based on the last census. I would argue that's probably increased based on the price of um, more price of property at the moment. And Moody's figure was 27 um, for 2015, but let's, let's go with the 25% figure from ABS. So if it's a quarter of your earnings from January to the end of March, your pay goes on the mortgage. So tax freedom day is, in Australia, the 13th of May, plus the average mortgage repayment is approximately 25% of yearly earnings or three months of the year. In Australia, you work until roughly the 13th of August to pay your taxes and your mortgage. So you start paying yourself 
in the second week of August, which is week 32 of week 52, around 62% of the years passed. So on a weekly basis, this is what it looks like. We're starting to earn for ourselves on Thursday morning. So Monday and Tuesday, as you can see, there are taxes. Uh, Wednesday's for the bank. Thursday and Friday is for you. So this is the current plan for most people. Is it any wonder why people cannot get wealthy on that plan? Well, we, we're going to help you make a better plan here. And it's all about having the right team behind you. So let's talk at those financial well-being scenarios when it comes to retirement and what the default retirement plan is for most Australians. So the reality of retirement is that in Australia, only 20% of people will not require the pension. So according to the Australian Government National Commission of Audit, it says that in spite of all of our savings into super, government projections show that 80% of Australians will require the pension over the next 40 years. So the current pension is not suitable. By 2050, the current age pension will, the cost for that is going to increase by 50% as a percentage of our GDP. And there's no money tree in Canberra. Ultimately, the government expenses must be funded from tax revenue. The pension will have to be reduced because there's no money to pay for this. So on the screen, we have the increased cost of healthcare and increased cost of aged care as a percentage of our GDP. And the cost of healthcare will increase over 77% by 2050, the cost of age pension will rise by 44%. So age care is also expected to rise by 125%. So right now there are five workers for every one retiree. By 2050, there will be 2.7 workers for every one retiree. So if your plan is to rely on the pension, where will the government get their money from with half the workers? They're simply not going to have the money. So the pension has to go down. Now that we've discussed the most common obstacles without looking at your own personal circumstances, I'm going to share with you five key solutions that Providence provide Australians to ensure financial well-being. And we discuss these in detail and tailor them for you during our discovery sessions. So these strategies are not necessarily separate. Many of our clients require a combination of these options. So let's just quickly go through them. The first one is accumulating wealth through carefully selected investment purchases, allowing you to enjoy life now and retire comfortably by creating and following a step-by-step -step plan, which takes all of your goals and circumstances into account. Now, this is very important because Australia is a very, I can do it myself DIY economy. The problem being is that a lot of it is luck when it comes to property for a lot of people. They've purchased something, they've owned it over many years and it's made money and that's fantastic. But if you ask those people, what was the strategy to buy it? A lot of them did not have a strategy. They had some basic understanding of what they thought would move property prices, but that's not a good enough plan to base your future on. Being smarter with your hard earned money. This is so important. And we see so many clients come to us that are just throwing money down the drain because of poor budgeting and poor strategy. So we can explore how you could acquire wealth generating tax deductible assets and extract equity to pay off your non-deductible home loan debt faster. Next is for first time property owners entering into the market, we create a strategy around your goals, your circumstances, and we follow an end to end process that results in purchasing a property, which will become your launch pad basically to achieving financial wellbeing. Tax converting income, into wealth creation savings. So we want to make sure that we're converting the income tax that you are currently paying and we're seeing how we can allocate that to help you achieve your goals faster instead of just giving it to the government at the end of every financial year. And lastly, for those who already own property and are looking to sell it, minimizing your properties, sorry, maximizing your property's profit when selling through expert advice and assistance, focusing on market timing, Environment and strategy, so important when it comes to selling a property. Just picking any random agent just based on whatever the commission is or based on if you know, you've seen their sign in the area is not a smart strategy. There's so many other things to take into account before you choose the right agent to handle the sale of your property. So for over a decade, Providence has helped Australians live their best lives 
and retire comfortably. And we'd love to work with you. We'd love to hear from you. So I'm going to leave you with this thought. The best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago. The second best time is now. Get in touch with us. Let us help you achieve your goals faster.